Hello everyone, my name is Matt and this is Real World Review. Today I will be showing you how to replace a screen on the iPhone 8 Plus. So the tools that we will need will be the following. A Penelo P2 bit, Y000 bit, JIS000 or PH000 bit, a pick of some sort, and a razor blade. You may also need some heat. So we will start with the P2 driver and remove the two bottom screws. Next you will want to lift up the screen. For this I would recommend adding some heat. So I will heat up the plastic edges for a few seconds to make the adhesive soft, and then use a blade to get in between the metal frame and the plastic frame. Once there is a gap, we will switch to the plastic pick to prevent scratching and any other damage. We want to start by lifting up the bottom a little bit, and then do the same with the sides. Just make sure not to lift the screen up too much or you could damage the cables on the right side. Feel free to add an appropriate amount of heat when needed. Once the sides are up, you can unclip the top portion just like we did with the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8. Once all four sides are loose, we will prop up the display to the right side so we can access the screws. Now grab the PH000 bit and start removing the four screws on the bottom panel and unplug the battery when we get the chance. Then we will grab the Y000 driver and remove the two screws on the top, along with the metal panel covering that top flex cable. Once the two metal panels are off, we can start unplugging the other three cables, which are the display cable, home button cable, and top flex cable. Now that the screen is off, we need to move the components from the old screen to the new screen. Best case scenario, you will only have to move the home button, but for this video, we will move everything. We will start by grabbing the Y000 bit and remove the three screws on the right side and the two on the left side. Now we will remove the four screws on the bottom, holding the home button assembly together. Before we remove that, we will take out the PH000 driver and remove the bottom left screw and then the top five screws holding the cable assembly together. Just like the iPhone 8, be very careful when removing this cable because it is very easy to tear something. There is also some adhesive holding down the left side of that cable, so you might want to add some heat to remove this cable. Be careful with the proximity and ambient light sensors as they are very easy to break if this is your first try. Before we remove the home button, let's remove the back panel. Just lift the plate straight up and move the cables and the adhesive away. It's fine to remove this piece or move it over to the side like I did. Carefully unplug the cable like shown and make sure it's out of the way so we can remove the home button. Be extremely careful and make sure to get under the home button cable to loosen up the adhesive holding it down. These cables are extremely easy to tear and only Apple can fix them. Once it becomes loose, the home button just falls out of the front of the phone, just like the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, and 8. Also remember to move these plastic pieces over to the new screen if your new one does not have these. Now all you have to do is put these pieces back onto the new screen along with the screws, all in the order that they're supposed to go. Remember that the screen cables go through the hole in the metal panel and that this little LCD chip needs to sit above the metal panel, not under it. Now grab the Y000 bit and start putting the side screws back into the screen. You can put the home button in and put the screws in, but I decided to move to the top flex cable installation. 
Line up the front camera, earpiece speaker, and sensors. Put the metal panel on the back of that. Grab a PH000 bit and screw in the five screws. Now I will install the home button, which is pretty much the same as how you do it on the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, and 8. Make sure to put the home button in like shown or else it won't set properly. Now you can put the metal panel on and grab the Y000 bit. Also be very careful with all of these screws, but especially with these screws, because these ones can strip very easily. Now we can plug in the screen like shown. Once the cables have been plugged in, you can plug in the battery and make sure that the screen works. And it does. I recommend propping the phone like shown and put the top panel on along with its two screws. Then grab the PH000 bit and put in the bottom panel screws. Make sure every screw in this phone is in the right place or else you could cause some major issues. Feel free to add some new adhesive around the edges of this phone for water resistance. For this repair I didn't need to so I left it with the stock adhesive. Now set the screen down starting with the top and then pushing down on the right side and the left side along with the bottom. Now if everything's working fine, put the bottom screws back into the phone. And that's it! I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below or on Twitter at Matt of RWR. And feel free to follow me on the social media listed above. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want more repair and review videos. Thanks for watching.